Well, we came north to chase the largest freshwater fish in North America, and we brought a rookie along to do it. <laughs> hey, I'm Adam Eagle. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, we're here with Mickey Anderson, my good buddy Dan Carrico, and of course, Brad Cutler. Dan's the sturgeon master up here, so <laughs> that's what we're calling him. <laughs> but we brought a rookie up here. Yes, we did. Welcome to Idaho, Mickey. <laughs> so, you know, I know darn well you're a heck of a trout fisherman. But it's my understanding you've never hooked into a sturgeon or never even been sturgeon seen fishing. One. No. Well, we got a little gift for you here that uh, for a first timer. <laughs> get that hat off and put your put this thing on. You can't, can't get on the boat without and, it. And that thing's locked on right now until you get your first sturgeon. We are uh, up the Snake River arm of CJ Strike Reservoir. It's a great fishery, uh, a lot of sturgeon in this part of the river. In fact, the Idaho Power biologists told me they call this the sturgeon nursery. Usually they'll lay right there on the bottom and let the bait drift into them. Okay, there's a sturgeon. I'll bet, bet you money that's a sturgeon. In Idaho, first of all, you got to make sure your hooks are um, barbless uh -huh. for sturgeon. Okay. And then I usually tie on some like 150 pound Dacron leader. And then you've got to have a sliding weight. You can use either a swivel and, and tie your weight to, or these, I like to use these sliders. And then you use like 30 pound mono or something that'll break easier than your 100 pound braid. That way, if you get a fish hooked up, and uh, he gets snagged up or something like that, he can, he can break free of the weight. You kind of want to try and use uh, natural type baits that are natural to the system that you're fishing. Yeah. Uh, dead trout, uh, we call them morts, they're fish hatchery mortalities, about six, eight inches long. Uh, that's always a good bait. Uh, crappie are a favorite bait, especially in this reservoir. Yeah. Uh, we use um, smelt, herring, uh, squid, about anything. When it's old freezer stuff, then you probably want to add some scent to liven things up a little bit. There's uh, called butt juice, there's potskis juice, there's uh, bloody tuna here, whatever you can come up with. Can you use your finger to rub yeah. that around? <laughs> Let me use my tongue. Yeah. <laughs> Dan is a longtime friend, and anytime I've ever had another buddy, like Mickey, who has wanted to punch a sturgeon off their bucket list, Den has always come through. My buds Ryan and Mort have had the chance to come fight Sturgeon with Dan. Describe that, Mort. Best thing laying in the world. <laughs> Second best. Second best. <laughs> the most fun you can have in Idaho. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <it's not> a... <laughs> he even once took out old Gephardt. Oh! oh. Just broke. Yep. Yep. That's the problem. <laughs> Those big fish, they do that. Yeah. And how can we forget the time? I can't. <laughs> Tanya Kiefer came out and landed her biggest fish to date. Oh my crap! I can't believe I caught that! That's the biggest fish I've ever caught in my life. The coolest thing I've ever done. Can't get excited about something like this. You just want to stay home and watch Oprah, right? <laughs> We're back with Mickey on his fishing trip, and boy, has it been tough. Oh, there's a bite. Left rod. Just hang tough a minute. Let's just watch it. Why don't you set it? <laughs> that quick, huh? Get over. Get over there. We'll get you Get over there. On there, Mick. Keep up, keep it up, keep it up in the air. There you go. I don't know if it's, it's on. on. I think it's on. What? It's on. Boy, he was hooked good. I can't believe that. We're running up from King Hill Boat Lodge, and we're going to head about 15 miles or so up river and start hitting the holes up there, and hopefully we'll uh, get this guy hooked up with some fish. It's a good run. We've got to run through some rapids and stuff like that. It can be treacherous. A lot of boats have uh, hit rocks and uh, sunk up here, so 
we got to be darn careful. Naturally, you're always wearing your life jackets when you're on, you know, running the river like this. Running the Snake River in a jet boat is a thrill everyone should try. The wildlife, the scenery, it's cool, but the rapids, especially the Castle Rock Rapid, is one that'll get you pretty excited. I haven't seen it this low in a while. stop is Thompson's Hole, Dan's favorite. There's a fish. That's a good fish right there. I think I'll hit right up here, so we're kind of at the top of the hole. Boy, that wind's really taking me. Yeah. One thing you got to do, you're supposed to taste this stuff yourself. Okay, here. <laughs> here stick your tongue out. That's my rod, so <laughs> I got to taste it. That's right. You got to make sure if it's good enough for you, it's good enough for the sturgeon. <laughs> Dan hadn't had the rods out for 10 minutes, and we were getting a hit. Pick it up and real easy, real gentle. You don't want to scare it away. There. Just, just let him load up. definitely a hit. Let him load a little more, I think. That right hand rod is getting some bumps. Show him how it's done, Dan. Yeah, boy. Yeah, we got him. All right. All right, now it's up to Mickey to seal the deal on his first fight with a sturgeon. Now, he's finally seeing everything now. <laughs> he finally figured it out. Yeah. Feels like a small one, huh? He's a fish. <laughs> he's got fins. I hope I can keep this out. <laughs> It didn't feel real big. I... Hey, we gotta break the ice somehow. Yeah, he's probably about a three footer or so. <laughs> I don't know if that counts. Does that count? No, that does not count as a fish. That's that's just the bait that came to life. <laughs> 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 Sturgeon on the Snake River are protected. You can't keep them. Does that count? <laughs> that counts. I don't know if it does. In fact, you can't even take them out of the water. Once you unhook the fish and take a quick snapshot, it's back to the depths. Thank you, everybody. All right, that's the story. You leave that hat on. I was gonna put the hat on. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna put the hat on the fish. <laughs> Watch it swim away. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. That was, that was great. Yeah, now let's get serious. This is your boat. You're the captain. Does that fish count? <laughs> no. <laughs> There's nothing to catch in them. They're easy. They're easy. Huh? <laughs> Oh boy, it's getting deep. <laughs> he knows he's still wearing his hat. He knows. Don't run any more footage until we hook him up with an eight footer and then watch it right after him saying it's easy. Yeah. Just have him crying the blues. I need help, mama. I'm done. I'm done. You know, the bike was actually pretty good today. Got him? No. Nope. Nope. Well, but hooking these monsters can be tough. Dan has fought many a sturgeon and just seems to have a knack for hooking up. That's a good one. This is a good one. Get it. <laughs> How's this one feel? <laughs> this one's a whole lot different. <laughs> oh, yeah, right here. He is not. <sighs> Check that drag, will you, Adam? It's going out. Okay. Is that, is that all right? Yeah, that's fine. I mean, it's not, that long. It's not a lot, but it's going out. He's going upstream pulling out. I've always believed that every fisher should take the time to feel the power of these fish. He's a pro. He caught a three-footer, man. <laughs> you know, Dan is not a guide, but a guide service called Jones Sport Fishing does guide these waters. My buddy Joe Weisner guides for Jones Sport Fishing. You're on these fish multiple days a week. We know where they're at. We follow their migrations and we are always looking for the largest groups of sturgeon we can find, and big sturgeon as well. The new Idaho state record sturgeon was caught by a client of Jones Sport Fishing, 
Greg Polson reeled in this whopper 10-foot, 4-inch sturgeon out of CJ Strike back in August. Both Dan and Joe believe there are bigger sturgeon in the system. It will happen again. There is much larger out there, I'm sure. We get a lot of really big fish. Our average fish down here is on average seven and a half to eight and a half feet. And um, we do get a lot of fish over nine. Last year, my boat saw 36 fish over nine feet, up to 10 feet. You're never gonna win a battle if you're fighting. So when they're running, go ahead and let them run and hang on. As soon as they stop, then you start reeling and you, you pull up to about, uh, are you listening to me? <laughs> <laughs> you pull up to about 11 o'clock and then reel down Keep tension on it the whole time and then pull back using your body to do this. You already look tired. You want Brad to take over? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he just got off. That's off. Dang it. You didn't do anything wrong. No, you, you didn't. just uh, you didn't do anything right either. But <laughs> <laughs> Sturgeon fishing can be frustrating, but man, when it comes together, it's a memory to remember. Give Jones Sport Fishing a call. You won't regret it. We didn't get him a big one, but we did get him a sturgeon. Didn't get skunked. He's no longer. You can take that hat off, buddy. <laughs> it's out of here. That's pretty fun, isn't it? Yeah, that is. That was a lot of fun. Thank you, guys. Yeah, yeah. great it trip. It was our it pleasure. Was, you know, yeah. and that's actually what I wanted. When she took that big one, I thought, I'm not going to laugh. <laughs> so that coming off was perfect, and I landed one, so I got it off my bucket list. Thank you so much. Yeah. That's good. Uh, I think the jet ride up the river is oh, just part of it. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. a fun deal. It isn't all about slaying the fish all the time. Yeah. Stop and enjoy the beauty of nature and friends That's camaraderie. Yeah, yeah. yeah good there deal. was barely a minute where something wasn't being said. <laughs> a lot of ribbon going on. Yeah. We won't tell you who was the butt of the joke. <laughs> He's not here! <laughs> hey, I'm Adam Eagle, KSO Outdoors. You're mighty out with your family, your friends, your buds. Make some memories outdoors. We'll see you next weekend. Good night.